Okay, so here are our options from the question. We have the mallet, we have the tweezers, we have the chopsticks, we have the two spoons, and then we have our hands. So let's pretend this ping pong ball is the nut in our example. The mallet we can use to actually crush open the nut, which would be great. The tweezers are easy for picking up little small things like have a grain of rice, perfect for little things like that. But in terms of the ping pong ball, if this was a, a creature that had this as a beak, you're not gonna really do much with it. The chopsticks, again, you could probably pick up the nut, you could move it around, but you don't get enough strength to actually break this if this was, let's say a walnut or something like that. And again, the spoons are probably great for picking something up, but not for crushing. So if you were an organism that had each of these, you know, the hand is also another option. It's, the hand is probably the most versatile and given enough strength, you could probably teach yourself to break open this nut, but you'd have to build up to that level of strength. And um, perhaps if there were a lot of different food sources, the hand organism could probably still live. And if there were a lot of small things to pick up, even something like the tweezers or the chopsticks could survive. But if this was the main food source in your area, I would probably say that the mallet is the easiest thing to use to crack open the nut. It takes very little effort. You just need to hit it and the nut is broken and you can continue to eat. So if this was an environment where the, this hard nut was the main primary food source, I'd say that the organism that had this as a beak, probably the best off. Maybe the hand could survive because there'd be other options. And something like the, the, the tweezers or the chopsticks or even the spoons, depending on what other options were there, it could theoretically live or even uh, exist in a little smaller environment, but it wouldn't dominate just because they're just not well equipped to break open this nut. So now let's forget about some of these. And let's say that the tweezer has now developed into a set of pliers. The chopstick organism uh, has completely died out and is now replaced by a rock. And the spoon organism developed a mutation that now made it two forks. And the hand organism continued to live. So based upon that, now what do you think would be the best option to break open the nut?